Alright, this is a video on how to mod Stardew Valley, so let's just jump straight into it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've booted up Stardew Valley at least one time, so that it can run initial setup. Once you've done that, you want to download Smappy. You can find this on Nexus Mods, or in the description of this video will be a link straight to this page. I'm going to scroll down to Files, where there's the two, it means there's two main files. Now the second file is for developers, I want the main file. Now, using a mod manager doesn't really work too well for this, so I'm going to use manual download. Once you download that and put it on your computer, wherever you want, it'll be a .zip file. Right click on it, extract all, extract. Put it into a folder, go into that, into that, and then install on windows.bat. Double click that, brings up this menu here, gives you super simple instructions of one or two for install or uninstall. Just simply type the number one and press enter. It'll install it and do all the work for you. This is also how you would update it. If you get a newer version and need to update this, do the exact same thing. It'll update it, take care of all that. Now, if you use Steam, you want to click and drag to highlight this row right here. You want the whole thing, including the quotation marks and the percent command percent. You want every little bit of it. Now, control C to copy. If you've copied, it'll unhighlight it. Now go to Steam, look for your game, Stardew. Right click on Stardew Valley, Properties, and then under the Generals tab, it'd be Set Launch Options. Click that, this should be blank in here. Click in there, Control V to paste. Now I'm gonna use the arrow key left to scroll all the way to the beginning. Make sure there's not extra stuff at the start. So there's a few extra spaces, go past them, and then delete those. Click OK click close. Now you can close off the install window. You can close that out. We're going to go back to Nexus. Now I would recommend on Nexus Mods making an account, clicking on the Mods tab, and clicking Get to Vortex on the far right here to download and install Vortex. Once you install Vortex, I recommend you boot that up. I would sign in to Vortex as well. Go to your Games tabs on the left here. Then you're going to look for Stardew Valley by scrolling down through the Unmanaged category, or you can search for it with the search menu. Once you find Stardew Valley, if you hover over it, you'll get a little Manage button. Click that, and it adds it to your Managed Games. Once you've added it, if you click in the top left here where it says what game you have, you can select which game you want to currently use mods for. So we're going to leave it on Stardew Valley. I recommend going to Settings, going to the Mods tab, and maybe changing where the mods are installed. Same thing with the download tab, I might change where the downloads are, but you can leave these default if you wish. Now back on Nexus Mods, you can basically start downloading all the mods you want for Stardew Valley, but there is a mod you'll probably want to get called Content Patcher. So I'm going to click on the search bar, it'll default to mods, instead go to games, look for Stardew, click on Stardew Valley, and then it'll select it as the game up here on top next to mods. Now if you click on the search bar, any mods you look for will be for Stardew Valley. So now we're going to look for Content Patcher. There it is. Click that. And now that you've installed Vortex, and there's only one file to pick from, I'm just going to click Vortex over here at the Download tab. It'll download it straight into Vortex. Now if I go to Vortex and click on the Mods page, these are all the mods that I've downloaded. You'll see that they're not installed. To install them, I'm just going to click on the top one, scroll to the bottom, shift click the bottom one. Then click the install button right here. It'll install them all, it, but it doesn't enable them. They'll install them, but they'll be turned off. Now you can click on the top one, scroll to the bottom and click to the bottom one, and click enable, or in the little notifications tab here where it said mod installed, multiple, you can just click enable all, same thing. It'll enable all the mods, and you'll get the notification, deployment requires evaluation. Click Evaluate, and it won't look like it did anything, but it just moved all the mods where they need to be in order to work. If that notification doesn't work, or if it doesn't show up, click Deploy Mods up here. Always redeploy your mods whenever you make any kind of change to them. Now there's one mod in here that needs a little bit more work, but this is just kind of a me thing, but this is an example of how the mod manager doesn't always manage every little thing for you. So I have this mod here that changes the portraits of the characters in the game and it requires this in order to work. Now, despite having these both in here, it doesn't do everything I need. I need to actually dump some of the files into the folder myself. So I downloaded this right here for the new portraits. I'm gonna right click, because it's a zip, extract all, extract. Go into that folder, go in there, 
And then I'm going to select all these portraits. Control A to select everything. Right click, cut. Now you're going to go to the mods folder inside your actual install folder for Stardew Valley, which is what Vortex did for you. It should look something like this. However, the only thing that should be different for you is probably this right here where it says E installs. This is just simply where I installed stuff. For you, by default, it should probably say something like program files x86 or something. But just work your way down to here to mods and inside portraiture, which is where the one that changes the pictures. Go inside portraits and then I just simply paste those little pictures I copied in here. Here. Now, I am officially done messing with the mods. Now, the last thing to do is to actually boot up the game in order to create the .json files. So I'm going to X all this gibberish off and then do that. All right, I've booted up the game, so I'm just going to exit right back out. Now that you've booted up the game, since you've added mods, it's going to create .json files in each of the mod folders, which allow you to change the hotkeys to what buttons do in those mods. And the reason that's important is because sometimes they overlap. For example, Portraiture and Spawn Monsters both share a hotkey, and I want to change that. So I'm going to go into Portraiture, go to config.json, Double click to open that. And you can modify this in just simply Notepad if you want, but I recommend using Notepad++. It's a lot easier. There will be a link in the description to download Notepad++ if you want. Now, change key is P, just like in the Spawn Monsters mod. So I'm just gonna change that to O. That way the buttons don't overlap. And just simply click the save icon right here. And voila. That should be totally done. Now you can play the game with all your wonderful mods.